Good morning students. Welcome to another session of Advanced Radiating System. I am your instructor, Dr. Usha Kiran K, Assistant Professor, Sense VIT Chennai. In today's lecture, we will be learning about binomial array and dark Chebyshev array. So binomial array is basically an array with uniform spacing and non-uniform amplitude. Uniform amplitude arrays produce small half power beam width and possess the large largest directivity. But certain instant the side lobe level of the radiation pattern has to be maintained at a desired level. So the side lobe levels can be reduced by varying the amplitude excitation of the array elements. Non-uniform amplitude excitation of the linear array produce a pattern with smaller side lobe levels and slightly increased half power beam width in comparison with linear arrays. So in the last previous class we studied about non-linear arrays. So in non-linear arrays the elements are fed with different amplitude. So one of such example is this binomial array. So let us consider a two element array and we imagine that the elements are starting from the origin. So my first element would be on the origin and at a separation of distance d I have my second element so I can write an array factor is equal to 1 plus e to the power j psi since because my first element is on the origin the phase difference would be e to the power j0 hence we just have 1 so for a broadside array alpha is 0 with an element spacing d less than half wavelength the array factor has no side lobe an array formed by taking the product of the array factor of two element would be 1 plus e to the power j psi into 1 plus e to the power j psi which is nothing but 1 plus 2 j psi plus 2 e to the power j psi. So this expression is the solution for the expression 1 plus e to the power j psi. the whole square. So this array factor being the square of an array factor with no side lobes also has no side lobes. Mathematically the array factor above represents a three element equal spaced array driven by a current amplitude with a ratio 1, 2 and 1. That is the arrays in my 
the elements in the array are fed with amplitude 1 2 and 1 amplitude ratios similar fashion as we go for further products three products of the array factor of two element array we have expression 1 plus 3 e to the power j psi plus 3 e to the power 2 j psi plus e to the power j3 psi so here this expression gives us elements which are in the number 4 for an array which is having low side lobe levels. So this is the first element should be fed with 3 sorry 1 3 3 and 1 likewise to for an n array element for getting side lobe levels to nullify we should feed the elements with an expression of array factor 1 plus e to the power j psi to the power n minus 1 so the current coefficient of the resulting n element may take the form of a binomial series. They are the array is known as binomial array. So my binomial array in terms of binomial series are written with this expression which is having the coefficients. in the form of Pascal's triangle. So when m is equal to 1, I have 1. And when elements are 2, in order to get lower side lobe levels, say low side lobe levels, we should get in this fashion so what do we see here so we see here that when m is equal to 1 what is m we can consider this m as our number of elements in a array number of elements so these are the number of elements in a array So, when there are, for example, two number of elements, I feed both the elements with a amplitude coefficient of 1. That is, both the elements are fed with equal amplitude. Then I can get a low side lobe level. Now, when I have the number of elements in an array m is equal to 3, then I need to feed the 3 elements with the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. Now, likewise, for example, I have an array with m is equal to 5. So I will be feeding with using the Pascal's triangle as 1, 4, 6, 
four, six. So let us see some examples for feeding the coefficient arrays for a linear and a non-linear arrays. So first let us take two elements for which in the previous class we have learned that total number of array for a even array would be 2m is equal to 2. So since my array is 2, I will be even array is equal to 2, I would feed both the elements equal to 1. And when I have 3 elements, 2m plus 1 is equal to 3 which is a odd factor. This is a odd factor. Then I have to feed it as the A1, the center fact element would be fed with 2 A1 and A1 on the either side will be fed with 1. Amplitude quotient to be 1 just like in Pascal's triangle 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now when I have again come back to a even array which is uh, represented by 2m is equal to 4 I will be feeding by a1 is equal to 3 a2 is equal to 1 and not only in that I even have to see the array now when 2m is equal to 4 that means I have 4 elements <coughs> it is a even array so when you recall the previous lecture of my uh, linear and non-linear array I have the arrays distributed in even numbers symmetrically around the axis so there is no element on the origin so they are symmetrically distributed about the origin so if I have a array I have my origin in this direction I have a1 here and then a2 a1 this side and I have a2 and then a2 on the other side so here according to as Pascal's triangle I should feed for a m is equal to 4 I have to feed the 4 elements in this ratio 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 that is I will be feeding a1 1 and so I so will feeding a2 1 and my other end a2 also as 1 whereas a1 will be fed with 3 times the a2 So this is how I can feed the elements in order to achieve low, lower side lobe levels. So here you can see the binomial array radiation pattern for a 10 element broad side binomial array. 
they are varied for different distance d lambda by 4 lambda by 2 3 lambda by 2 and lambda here you can see that for example let us take lambda by 4 what you can see here is that there is no side slope at all for a lambda by 4 is a darker line and you can see that this particular line does not have any side lobes likewise you have this particular light color line d is equal to lambda this lobe pattern is for d lambda again you can find that for d lambda also we have this particular pattern it is four sides you can see here the four sides and there is no side lobe levels and when d is equal to the dotted line also different things you have but the side lobe levels are slightly lower than 20 db so this is and you can also observe that the beam width is quite large in this case so this is all about binomial array thank you